Hello viewers, welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel and welcome to this live stream where we're checking out Automobilista 2 version 1.4.3.3. They love their versions, they love their updates. If you uh, want to just skip through this because you're watching this as a catch up video, you go ahead and do that. Also, remember to click that subscribe button and click that like button so you're updated when we next go live so you don't miss us with our live streams. But uh, this is going to be an interesting one, seeing what the latest update of AMS 2 is indeed like, and if anything has particularly changed. In the update, what this is, is the Racing USA Part 3 update. So we've got some new content, the Spa Francorchamps 1970 uh, layout, which is pretty awesome. We've got the short oval speedway for for the Apollo stock car, the stock car mega, the Copa Montana Super V8, um, and they've added low downforce variants for all GT1 and Group C cars. There's a whole bunch of fixes to this. You know, the fix list goes on. That's games development for you. Um, who knows if that's going to have actually fixed anything or made things better. But, you know, that's the excitement of having a game that's updated you can you can enjoy the charts and tribu tribulations of those updates hello everybody in chat uh does anyone want to join us on the server we can uh get a session going i just need to resize my chat room here and we need some uh, nice music on so let's get some music on i don't know why i didn't have any music on there We'll get some on. Let's get some deep house going. That's more like it. <laughs> You're in bed? Ah, oh, no sleep. Sim race all day long. Time to lean, time to sim race. That's how it goes. How's everyone doing? Welcome to the chat room, guys. Hello, Freaky Leak. High is a cut. You're always high. <laughs> You're literally always high. Right, uh, let's launch the game here. Let's see if oh, this uh, wheel works with this. Should do. <laughs> Hello, Izzy. It's the best game of 2020. Hello, Pete Jam Racing. Ian Bell, I don't know, Ian Bell should just do whatever he feels like doing. Right. Got to get up before you get down, and then you've got to get down again. That's how it works. Right, Automobilista 2. Uh, launch, let's see what happens here. AMS 2 thought it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. I've had to put my hat on because it's cold. Hello, Paul Smith. What are you doing? The Paul, Paul Smith. Right, let's hope the wheel is working. Let's just check that it's all working. It will load into this. Hello. Bobby W, how's it going, guys? Oh, car's wobbling. I think we might have a... Well, we've got a wheel. There we go. Go. All is good. What? Why would you work? What's work about? Oh, so uh, earlier, 
earlier, um, we were uh, trying to fix this stutter issue. It might be that it's the steering wheel causing it, with race room at least. <laughs> Good old AccuForce wheel. So I might have to go back to the Fanatec. But I've used this, fan this wheel enough to review it now anyway. Get out of my way. <laughs> Okay, should we do it? We could do a race. Well, hello! <laughs> right. It's all, everything's working. So, uh, let's get a race going. Who wants to join us? Is that radar part of it? Where, where's the, was there a radar on the screen there? I didn't see it if there was. If they have added a radar. I didn't know if I'd enabled it. Sorry, Game of Muscle, I don't make enough money from content creation. Well, what are you playing at, Paul? Take your clothes off like I do. Whoa! <laughs> well, on that note, thank you to all the channel members, including Paul Smith. Oh, no, Paul Smith's not a channel member. <laughs> Thanks to all the channel members and everyone that supported us. On that note, this is a, this allows me to, uh, be, to, have, to be redundant. Ah, oh, <laughs> bathtub. Yeah, Paul doesn't know about my bathtub streams. That's what funds the channel. Type joining in chat if you want to join us in a race. You keep telling me off. I know, well, because you 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 want to save money, and and you're not like I only want people to be members and stuff and donating everything if they've got money to waste, and no one has. Which is no one these days. <laughs> if you unless you if you can afford a race car, by all means support us. If you can't afford a race car, I'd save you money. Hello, put Zach. They're joining. Okay, we've got like a few people. Right, let's try out this new track then. Uh, <sighs> Spa Francorchamps. I've actually driven around here in real life, uh, and I've been around the racetrack in real life. Um, but I've been around the roads. The historic roads in real life as well because um i happened to be staying at a hotel that was uh in involved driving it oh there we go oh blessed be by the power of force feedback and lo izzy has been blessed blessed by the lord of newton meters deep within his wrists he feels the newton meters of force feedback and lo, may your front end feel be firm and powerful. <laughs> Hello, helicopter landing. I've got hair under this hat. Schrodinger's hat. If I don't take it off, you don't know. If you're new to the channel, that is. If you're not new to the channel. Hang on. <laughs> the difference, guys. The difference between historic 1970 and historic 1000 kilometers <laughs> is this one chicane. What? Or maybe does it even include even more, but they've just not included it on here. Oh, I don't know. That's pretty funny. Hang on, we've messed that up. Let's do historic. Uh, are you cheering for Brazil? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, d totally, 100% Brazil all the way, mate. Brazil's my... Uh... Hang on, Izzy's broken the... <laughs> Get off the screen, Izzy. <laughs> there he goes. Bloody hell. I, Iran are like one of my favourite teams. I mean, who doesn't love the Iranian football team? Um, right. Uh, what's, it, what's a vintage car? Are we going for a vintage car? Uh, Formula Vintage. What should we go for, guys? Hang on, we need to make an online set. I clicked the wrong buttons. Multiplayer. <laughs> By the way, I'm doing, guys. Oh, hello. <laughs> right, let's create one. Create new. Vintage car. We want the... What are the what's the slowest vintage car? Probably these. Still 400 horsepower. <laughs> I've seen these in real life. They're pretty cool, actually. Paul Paul Smith would like to drive one of these. Paul Smith can be the cameraman. He can sit on the bonnet with a with a film camera. 
whilst I drive. I totally won't crash, I promise. Uh, Spa Frank Control. Right, here we go. I always imagine Paul talking down the chimney. Yeah, pretty much. That's what he does. Lotus 23 is too slow. No, look, we, we're just we're just seeing what what happens here, guys. Once baby steps, steps of the baby. Live track. Let's put it on uh, fully heavy rubber because I'm I'm too scared. Start time. Let's make it middle of the day. Number of laps. Let's make it. Let's just make it three laps for now, and we'll make it. Oh, uh, where's the uh, qualifying? I've forgotten how to do this. Qualifying needs to be on. Let's let's make this. Uh, let's just make it. A good quality start time. Right, here we go. Time progressing. Here we go. Heavy, heavy that rubber. <laughs> rubber eyes. There we go. Save, save, save. Merry Christmas. Yeah, well, you don't need DRS, do you? Your face is the DRS on this. You just duck down. Paul's there. Uh, I'm pretty sure Paul is related to Fred Dibner. Wouldn't get me up chimney. Not great with hearts if I've not safety railings. Um, wooden ladder, mate. That's the only safety railing you need. I mean, you know that. My water bottle's leaking. Right, here we go. Oh, the host settings, we need to call it Gamer's Muscle. Password is t t t t t t. No, actually. That's not how you spell T. <laughs> Public broadcast, broadcast, wait, yes. Okay, so this should all work. Probably won't. Hello, As. By the way, helicopter landing. Um, I've got some, we're going to do a comparison between the Bell 47 mod and uh, Microsoft Flight Sim helicopters soon. So uh, watch out for that. Francis Ellingworth, are you taking these cars in? No, we're taking... Is there historic art into Lagos in this as well? Should be. Raw McRip, how is in? Anybody else? Type joining if you're joining. Game Master should learn what? how to drive. What's this for? USB disconnect sound. <laughs> Who sent that? Who sent that? Right. I'm going to check my email to find out who sent that anonymously. And it sent the Game of Muscle videos. Who sent that? Right. Who's Andrew? Andrew, sh I don't want to dox you. Andrew. Thank you very much, Andrew. I won't say your surname because I don't know if you want it public. <laughs> Who's... He was at Andrew who? Andrew who? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Is it gear owed? <laughs> Thanks so much. That's super, super generous. That's a crazy amount of uh, money to donate. Thank you very much. And through the high skill donation link as well. So I get all the money. YouTube doesn't get any. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was going to read his surname, and I was like, actually, <laughs> people don't want to be docs on the internet. Did you watch that lad Bible thing about Prince Andrew with the teddy bears and the security guard saying that he was a weirdo? <laughs> it's the Queen's favourite son. That's so mental. It's crazy. Look at this. Get in there, guys. Everyone tickle that like button with your trousers on. Keep it PG. Uh, yeah, well, PayPal take like a few percent. Streamlabs. I don't think Streamlabs take any, actually. It's just PayPal. Uh, Streamlabs rely on people to subscribe and other stuff. It's 2%, I think. Or I don't know. Whatever PayPal thief off you. Actually, then it gets converted by the currency at a bad rate. It's, I'll take it. Look, it's better than you. I'm not meant to say this, am I? <laughs> I'll take it anyway. <laughs> just... Don't, you know. 
I might have a pause. You know my view on PayPal. I hate PayPal so much because they really don't do sod all, and yet it's the default thing. And uh, I, 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 my jobs prior to doing YouTube and stuff, I all, most a lot of my money would come through PayPal from other currencies. So I used to uh, uh, license software online to other companies and other countries. So PayPal would be taking like they do nothing, and they'd be taking like nine percent of my income. I'm like, what? Well, I, I was struggling. <laughs> PayPal's like, thank you, thank you. We've we've done nothing here. Let's take all the money. Bobby, can I piggyback off your channel and name mine video gamer strong guy and just sort of put out a video that you put out with the same content? Yeah, just do that. It's not, don't don't upload my own videos, but do whatever you want. What? Where are we going? Oh shit! Here we go. All right. Okay, we've just upgraded this car. How do we, um, how do you make it use the H pattern? Oh, you, we just have to bind the buttons, don't we? Uh, I think we, because I reset the controls last time we had a, there we go. <laughs> Why would you want to copy this channel? I don't know how our channel's been successful, like relatively successful. Like, you can understand how, like, Jard, Yay and Jimmy Broadbent and stuff are successful because they're, they're, you know, they're, like, actually appealing. They're not miserable bastards. <laughs> you know? So, I, I don't know what's going on here, but I'll, I'll accept it. Pete Jarum, can I change my username to Gamer Muscle Second? I mean, I can't do anything about that, can I? Right, here we go. such a good track this there's a we'll have to do a r-factor 2 version oh god i'm dead <laughs> oh it's just that went well r-factor 2 version <laughs> versus our ams2 version i just killed myself into the armco that went well good job nailed it that's that that's actually the line for that corner by the way if you if you're not familiar with the circuit you might not know that Guys, quite a lot of understeer when <laughs> when you're up to speed. Give me muscle suit to learn how to drive. Oh, Reza. Hola, oh. gamer muscle. We see you are playing our new update. <laughs> this is Muito Bomb. We trust you will not say anything. No. But about our game. No, I never do that. It'd be a shame if you had a little accident <laughs> in your kayak in the Medway River. Oh, uh, you agree. Adios. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to fall out of a fifth-story kayak window. Thank you for that. Appreciate the donation. Checks Bron. So hang on. This is. Uh, we're on the public road now. So I've been down here. In real life, these houses are all still here. This is all public road in real life now. <laughs> oh what hang on were we meant to oh we were meant to go around the chicane <laughs> andrew uh, mccormick hang on that should come up on the screen a bit thank you very much <laughs> i did well i've only ever driven this there it is Blessed be the force feedback and may your Newton meters rub your limbs from left to right and may your front end feel be strong in all simulators and your talk precise and detailed. Thank you Andrew McCormick for being a member for far too long, 54 months. These numbers are getting more and more depressing. Each. <laughs> 
as the years go on, it just gets more and more depressing. You, you'll go to your doctor and you'll go, oh, how many months did you subscribe for? Yeah, sorry, it's terminal. Hello, T Hammer. We just we just jumped in. It seems all right though. I'm, I'm having frame rate issues, but I've been having them all day. <laughs> Don't worry, the church will disappear in a minute. We're just being blessed by it. Um, I think my wheel is causing frame rate issues. Oh, it looks bouncy. Yeah, it, it, it is bouncy. A AMS2 does have quite bouncy physics, but also my camera settings make it look more bouncy because I smoothed the camera out um, to reduce motion sickness. Uh, buttons is the uh, earliest channel member. Oh dear, now Cheddar's getting in there. <laughs> Christ almighty. Uh, buttons was the first person to subscribe to us in like 2011 or something. Poor guy. This track's like, it's, this is like one of those cruise tracks for AC, but it's actually a real racetrack. This is what real racetracks used to be. No, thanks, Ched Ed. Blessed be the Ched of the head. And lo, 100% force feedback was delivered directly into his soul through the electric, electric power of a DD servo motor. All force feedback will be blessed and will fill your soul with glory. Thank you, Ched Ed. Jesus Christ, wrong gear. It's <laughs> get a life. I've got damage to this is the actual NASCAR technique for that corner by the way guys oh the little bit yeah we just did a little it's kind of a spontaneous thing with Red Sport uh, um, overtake little interview thing it was, <laughs> I find it really hard to talk on uh, over webcam to people though it's very weird it's much easier to do that kind of thing in the studio I'm really bad at like webcam chatting and when there's a time delay and stuff as well and trying to, you don't know to look at the webcam or to look at the screen or whatever, because it all looks a bit weird. But glad you enjoyed it. Ah, oh, we're going this way, this way, this way, this way. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, spectator's dead. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, I don't have a reverse gear. Okay. <laughs> pushing a hay bale. Nailed that corner. I don't think we did anything wrong. That was pretty classic driving, I think. Uh, I didn't see anything. Did you, see, did you guys see anything out of the ordinary there? I, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I think that was. I think that was bang on the money driving. Uh, controls. Reverse gear. That'd be handy. Definitely gonna make use of that at some point. Could do with like brake bias adjustment as well. All right, we get to try that. I mean, I don't think you could change the brake bias in this car. Oh no, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> Maybe we could do it in the pits. Oh yes, there we go. Tigella. When am I going to stream iRace? <laughs> Red X, what do you think of this 60s F1 car? Oh, it's all right. I, I think the uh, 60s F1 car is a lot better in R Factor 2. But uh, it's all right. There we go. Hello, Ted. Yeah. 
<laughs> dead. That's not nice. I didn't say that. You really do have to know the break points. Our oh, break bars to the back's way better. Because you don't just understeer. I don't know what it is with this whole understeer philosophy. Look at those cows. The loads of cars have these, like, people put have default understeer cells. It's like, well. Doesn't help. Oh, <laughs> road. There we go, there we go. This is Spa Frank and Chomp. Right, here we go. Break, 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 break. And t there we go. Oh. I know. <laughs> I get it with a game. It's, it's for game pads, I think. If you play a game with a game pad, then understeer is a lot easier to deal with. T in capital letters is the password. Yeah, this is it's so weird because this is still very similar in real life. Though there's more trees in real life blocking the view. Uh, like now, not when the track existed. But like, if you drive this this bit of public road in real life now, there's more trees on the right. But it's really weird how it's all exactly the same. Yeah, anyone can join. You do have to click the subscribe button now if you haven't. <laughs> you have to be a Gamer Muscle subscriber. It's free. It just costs you your dignity. So it's not totally free, but you know. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I like the spectators just stood at the side of the track. Oh yeah, the car radars come on the screen automatic. Hang on, I'm braking. I know I don't need to brake for that corner, but I don't trust myself. Last time I drove this track was in R-Factor 2 five years ago. Oh no! <laughs> Why did it? It just sucked me off. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it, guys. <laughs> no, no, that's how you drive. That's 1960s. That's the race line. 1960s race line, mate. So, if, you, you, if you're new to racing and you, you, you didn't watch 1960s Formula 1, you might not have known about that. <laughs> it's called uh, it's it's oh, it's an advanced uh, lamp post technique. Have I experienced improvements in physics? I don't know. I, I don't talk about that. I can't afford any more death threats from AMS two fanboys. So I don't talk about it anymore. It's safer that way. <laughs> oh, look at the size of the curb for T one. Here we go. It's my the bouncing is largely because of my camera settings because I get motion sick easy, so I I put um, lock to horizon on. But I do I also oh my we're not sticking through that it's all right use the armco NASCAR style. Um, AMS two does have very bouncy suspension as well, but uh, this is also partly my camera settings. Bounce to horizon. It makes it more visible. All oh, right, yeah, no, it's definitely still overly bounced, but how oh, well? At least I'm not a sim. I know I, I'm never going to be a sim racer. Look at the trees. That's it. That's the focus on the grass, guys. Hello, Sky Wilk. So we have to do a video, won't we? Uh, 1960s AC versus R Factor 2 versus AMS 2. But I don't. Oh, 
Oh, we missed the brain point. That was, we're still going to make it. Don't worry. Don't worry. There we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> well, they're doing a Dead or Alive remake, Star Fox, so don't worry about that. They just confirmed it today, actually. New Dead or Alive remake. Maybe that's why you mentioned that. Yeah, I don't know if there's a good version of this track for AC. Is it a rip from R Factor 2? <laughs> Alright, Paul, thanks for popping in. Have a good one. Guys, remember to subscribe to Smileable on Twitch or Paul Smith on YouTube. I've only got three minutes to get a lap and I'm so far I'm last. If you want to join the server, search for Gamer Muscle. Password is T. I'm falling off my chair here. <laughs> I've reclined it too far. A lot of these corners are lift off corners, but then you've got to watch out for the understeer. Look at this, bouncing along the countryside. <laughs> no way we're surviving this race. <laughs> this car on throttle stabilises. Pure drift entry, throttle out. Car just hooks up. It's got a trick diff on it. There we go. We'll get one lap in, I think. I've got a bit too much fuel in my car. I don't know. It's, it can be the technical name. Oh, hang on, that put me in second place. Everyone else is driving as bad as me. <laughs> That's good to know. Oh, thanks for subscribing, Raji87. Welcome to the channel. You can learn all the ways of how not to drive by watching me. What a resource. Oh, I like the view of the countryside down here. Thanks for subscribing, Meta, Meta 6. Welcome, appreciate the sub. Straight into second. Are the cows animated? That's that's pretty impressive if they are. Cows? <laughs> I think, I mean, cows eat grass, so technically cows are grass, so they are an important part of Sims. Well, we're going we're gonna to qualify and poll, guys. Unbelievable. We jump in in our 1960s Lotus. Raw talent, raw power, raw pace. T is the password. Tango Echo Alpha. Don't worry about the gearbox. 
Oh. Raw beef. Oh, I want a bit. A steak would be nice. No, I'm going to be in P1 by the time we finish this lap. Don't worry. We're still up. Go, 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 go. Oh, there we're down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We were about to do a P1 there. <laughs> Who put a hole in the armco there? That's like the worst, literally the worst place to put a hole in the armco. <laughs> so that's how you drive, guys. Bloody hell. Absolute joke. Armco joke go to the pit lane oh it's all right it's a little bit weird handling but it's all right just it just we don't talk about physics it's fine <laughs> there we go back to the pits let's get racing guys i can't talk about physics with ms2 because i get death threats so <laughs> i can only deal with like three death threats a day raw mcrip helmet hello in pole I'm in second. Matty Kobe third. Louis fourth. T Tomer two five one one fifth. Coggy San in sixth. Here we go. Triple caution. <laughs> oh, we got a little. That's cool. They've got the animated uh, crowd that are in uh, vintage style. Right. It's only a short race. It's my favourite sim. <laughs> uh, Ad, glad to see you driving AMS two better late than. Hang on, better late than never, and don't don't lose any word about the physics, otherwise I'll send some good friends of mine. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's like a lot of fuel for per lap. This is not a very efficient vehicle. Right, we're just going to leave it as it is, because that's fine. As long as I don't drive into a tree, we're good. Uh, Mark Webb has tried to cartwheel across the finish line. Right. Here we go. We've got one minute until it's until we're going. Ah, uh, yeah, taste it. Well, just that, well, it, is, it just is what it is. It is what it is. A AMS two form have a live. A. Eh? Oh no. <laughs> That's it. I can't say anything. Hello, AMS2 Forum. I won't promise I'm not going to say anything because I can't be bothered to read any more death threats. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to mention physics. I'm not going to mention time models or physics at all. Now, you, now who are you going to send your death threats to? Now what are you going to do? Now, <laughs> uh, what, I'm beating you. Are we ready up? You know. Wow, we're rolling down the hill. <laughs> How did you jump the start? The hill was too steep. Go. Oh, nice purple. Oh, don't you remember the pink lotuses? Back in the day, I do. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, is the race is more Raw McRip Helmet versus Gamer Shuffle. Three laps. Oh, he's been practicing on the beta, hasn't he? I guarantee it. Or he knows the track. From <laughs> half factor two. I, I can't remember it. Oh, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Now 
first car style. Yes. <laughs> nailed it. Nailed it, guys. <laughs> Looks like other people are trying to pull off, pull it off, but they don't know that this skill. Look at those cows. Cow distraction. I'm, that's how you drive these cars. Don't question my armco methods. Oh! <laughs> so close to hitting him there. <laughs> we were so close to hitting him. <laughs> he was lucky. He was lucky. He was blessed by the brake pedal. We may have drum brakes. But they seem to work all right. Hello, Master Loser. Oh, bouncing. I wonder what this is like in VR. If it still comes across as as bouncing. Oh my God. I think he's. I think Rip more, but Rip Helmet's aero boy because look at his, look at his straight line speed. Filthy aero boy. <laughs> he couldn't help himself. Even though this car has no aero, he's probably ducking. Max tire pressure. Full on, full on spring. I'm happy that we're in second place, to be honest. Oh, no. guys, you know what it's time for. You know what? It's, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time, but it's time for something very special that many of you have missed. And many of you have wished could go away. Are you ready? Oh, good lord. He doesn't even know what's coming, does he? <laughs> he doesn't know what's on the way. He's about... I oh, knew no, the hole! Ah! Oh. Oh, my wheel's making squeaky noises. Why is it not coming up? Why well, AD's become a member and it's not come up on the screen. What's going on? Maybe it's just a bit delayed. Oh. DD girl with the DD wheel. What a babe, what a beauty, what a sexy lady. It's a DD girl with the DD wheel. She's got servo motor for her legs and her arms. It's a DD girl with the DD wheel. Perfectly formed electronic body. It's a DD girl with a DD wheel. What a babe, what a beauty, what a sexy lady. Everybody needs a DD girl, put a DD girl in your sim rig. Everybody wants a DD girl, where is she? We do not know, but she's on the screen. DD girl with a DD wheel, magical, perfectly formed high torque wrists. It's a DD girl with a DD wheel, dreamy, probably from. Eastern Europe, <laughs> girl with the DD wheel, holding all the DDs in her hands. It's a DD girl with the DD wheel. A D regrets his sub. There she goes again, disappearing off into the sunset. I picked the wrong gear. I've been distracted by a babe. 
with the servo motor for an arm. Well, thank you. Thank you for being a channel member. Appreciate that. Great moment there. Great job. <laughs> Cheers, AD. Welcome to the uh, Club of Despair. I'm still two seconds faster while singing. <laughs> I'm kind of glad it's over. That's that's what most people say when I stop live streaming. <laughs> what the F? What the F? Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate the support. Oh, here we go. Imagine having your house on the side of a racetrack. Oh, here we go. We still we pulled away from uh, P3. Everyone else is crashing. Just like a real 1960s F1 race after the grid's dead. We have to count on Robert Rip Helmet having a crash here. <laughs> it's the only way. It's the only way. Oh. We have one more lap to go. Oh. Uh, AMS 2 is worth owning, yeah. Uh, it's not my favourite simulator to play, uh, but it's it's just, it's worth owning as a as a. I'm <laughs> It's worth owning because there are so you can have fun with it. It's good to play with friends. Works nice in VR. Uh, it's it's going to be in the Black Friday sales anyway, so you, you can pick it up super cheap. Oh, what? Ah, oh, he's, he's stuck upside down there. I can't. You ghosted. sliding all over the place. Uh. <laughs> Don't mind me, I missed the corner. <laughs> Beep, reversing. Nah, nah, nailed it. I just wanted to test reverse gear. Uh, you have to bind a reset car button. Uh, race room's really good to own as well, and that's going on Black Friday sale. I would say it's worth owning. A, a set of courses by far the best value for money, and for me, like the most realistic to drive simulator for, for like anything really, uh, content and what have you. Um, but I'd say uh, race rooms well worth owning. AMS two is well worth owning. WRC ten is really fun as well. Uh, Dirt Rally two, uh, Richard Burns Rally you can get for free, and they've just released some new mod tracks for that that are, that are really good. Um, you know, there's like a list of driving games that you should just own. I, don't, I mean, for, for like fifty quid or less. Yeah, about 50 quid you can own all the driving sims apart from my racing. So, you might as well just have them all really. Yeah, I re if you want if you're really hyper competitive and you want to do really hyper competitive online racing, i race is good, but uh, the time models just you know. <laughs> if you can look past the handling in i racing then it's fantastic. But it's expensive, you know, so
If you're in uh, America and you do oval racing, eye racing is the only real uh, option, to be honest. If you're in Europe, race room rank servers are really good. And league racing with AC. Oh, ACC is worth owning as well. I don't like its force feedback, but it's very active. So, and low fuel motorsport supports ACC, which is free, so you can get good racing with that. Really good if you're like newer to racing in general. If you get race room, make sure to buy, go through the race room store. Well, race room is free to download, but go through the race room store. Um, it's called GameRaceRoom.com or something. In the race room store, you can buy VRP, which is a lot cheaper. I just did a review video of the new trucks on, on this channel, the last video, if you want to watch that. And there's a link to where you can buy race room content for cheap there. Oh, there we go. Well done, Raw McRip Helmet. He absolutely spanked me ass. <laughs> He's actually a 1960s Formula driver. I tried my best there. I tried my best. Yeah, ACC is just so repetitive. It's just GT3. You can go through different cars. Porsche Cup car's nice. But the force feedback is really boring in ACC. It handles fine. It's, it's just dull. <laughs> it's just like the dullest sim ever. Just so dull to play. But it's all right. Like, if you like it, if you don't notice that, then you, you're probably fine. Something really worth checking out with AC, if you haven't, is uh, the cruise servers with the, uh, like... The, the J J Japan cruise servers, servers are really good fun. Yeah, well, you buy VRP from the race room store, and it's like 30% cheaper than buying through Steam. And uh, on Black Friday, they do a sale where you can buy like a, huge, like a large amount of VRP for even cheaper, so you can basically get the whole game for like 30 quid. Uh, Star Fox, Robert who? Eh? Hey? Uh, ACC force feedback is still the same. It, just, it has no variation in force load for mid-corner load and stuff. It just has a big drop-off when you go over the limit. And it has very aggressive self-aligning. So you can you can use the force feedback to drive from. It's just not... Um, it doesn't help you know how to drive faster. It, it doesn't tell you what you need to know to, to go to drive smoother. But it'll stop you from crashing. Why not play an ACC, Mason? You must be a real sim racer, Mason. It's all right. We're just cool down lapping here. What happened to everyone else? Me, me and more Raw McRip Helmet absolutely pwned it. Absolutely destroyed. I've taken that off. It's getting warm now. I shut the door down here. <laughs> and it gets really hot. We've got like a 3,000 watt worth of computing equipment. So in this tiny little room, it warms up nicely, which is good for this winter. Should I use ATC FFB with a G29? No, I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't bother with it. Uh, what SIM commander settings am I using? Um... I'm not using any. I've just got filtering on and I'm using my own. I just, um, I'm using a custom force feedback for AMS2. If you go back on the channel and you Google um, this force feedback is crazy or something, I'm using the crazy custom force feedback. I tend to just not use the uh, custom active force feedback, really. You'll get AMS2, Race Room, and probably WRC Generations. Yeah, WRC, uh, it's worth saying, you need quite a fast computer to get it to run really smooth, and you might need to run it with V-Sync and stuff. It, some people have had issues with it. Um, but, uh, also, it doesn't have any VR. Um, but... Um, it's a fun game to play through if you if you put up with like this like if you can't it's, if you kind of treat it as if it's a console racing game rather than going in with its uh, Richard Burns Rally replacement 
then you'll be pleasantly surprised. I'm not saying the physics are realistic or unrealistic. Just think contextually. That's kind of what it is. I really enjoyed playing it. The I did a video shoot me for race room truck, so good fun. Right. Well done, Ron McRip Helmet. Candy Sam third, Daniel Nito fourth, Scooby G fifth, Ham Dog sixth, Matty Taco Boy seventh. Um Where do we go to next? Oh, not again, Shumi. I thought you lost your left eye the other day. Now you can only see in 2D. That sucks. Right. What do we try next? Uh, what do you mean magical? I, I don't talk about physics with MS2 because I don't want. I'm, I can't. Um, I get. I've already got too many. I get too many death threats from uh, AMS2 players and fans, so I, don't, I can't comment on the physics. You'll have to make up your mo own mind. Um, I, you know. Uh, Imola, historic Imola next. Here we go. Uh. Here we go, 1972. Let's go for a different Formula car. Let's, let's go for something a bit. <laughs> let's go for some beefcake. Look, shut up, Pete. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. these are nice. Let's, let's change the time of day here. If you want to join, password is T, search yeah. for Game of Muscle. Thanks for subscribing, Maestro TV. And uh, did I just miss someone as well? Who else subscribed? Thank you very much. Really appreciate the subs there. Welcome to the channel. Don't forget to click the like button as well. AMS2 is a great selection of cars. Shame it drives like Colin McRae. I, I mean, that's your opinion. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't have an. I don't. I, I don't talk about physics because you can't unless you've driven a car. Unless you've driven the real car uh, in real life, then you can't comment on these things, so I, I just don't mention them. Let's make it a little bit cloudy. Heavy rubber. Got to, got to protect yourself with some heavy rubber. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want light rubber in case it broke. Uh, where's the race settings? <laughs> Go on. What's going on here? Race setting. Oh, there we are. I was clicking the wrong thing because I'm thick. Let's just have four. I'll have a quick sprint race here. Uh, my rubber breaks all the time, yeah. That's why I've got uh, such a large family. Right. Time time progressing. Real time. With Pete Myers. There we go. Standing heavy rubber. Live track. There we go. It's happening. It's happening. Are you ready? Well, maybe do some oval. Here we go. Are you ready, guys? <laughs> what a beaut. <sighs> what a beaut. These cars look really nice. Look at the framework of them. Compare them to, like, a modern... <laughs> modern race cars uh, frame uh, what's it called yeah what chassis frame what do you call the understructure of a car frame is the right word isn't it oh <laughs> I call it Dave alright I, mean, I hope you're not talking about my monocoque I showed. Uh, I once pulled my monocoque out, and uh, in, I, sh I was showing off my monocoque in public in, in central London. I was going through the streets of London with my monocoque, showing everyone, showing everyone my monocoque in central London, and uh, I got chased by the police. They didn't. They didn't like me showing off my monocoque. 
It's not a frame unless it's unless it's 1920. Right. Let's get in our monocoque. Oh, here we go. This has a nice this has a really nice cockpit. Oh, hello. This handles better than that other car. Oh, the track's nice. A bit of downforce always uh, makes things handle nicer. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know why they changed the track at all. I think we should go back to this. Bit of Armco. No runoff. I mean, why not? Hello. Oh. I need to make my grass a bit further away. Oh my goodness. Hang on, why are we not going... No, no downhill, it's just... Oh, okay, it's kind of flat. Um, why have we got these god... I need to turn these lens flare off and everything. What's going on here? It's like I put Vaseline on my helmet. Flat out. At least we've got some catchment fencing. That's all you need. Spectator safety first. Oh, we need to set the brake bars in the uh, setup in the garage. going guys still room in the server if you want to join in i think there is anyway unless i set it up wrong password is t search for gamer muscle subscribe to the channel and you can join in oh a bit of a jam what <laughs> car doing donuts there I don't talk about the physics, Max, because I get death threats. So you have to play it for yourself. Make your own mind up. And as we all know, you can't know or comment on driving sim physics unless you've driven the real car on the same track, with the same tyres, at the same year, with the same weather conditions, whilst wearing the same underwear and being the same weight driver whilst drunk because it's 1960s with a hot woman in the pit lane that you're probably cheating on. It's the only way you could possibly comment on physics when it comes to a driving sim, so I, 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 don't, I don't comment anymore. Not in live streams. <laughs> I like to keep my death threats down to like one a day. The moment I say something about AMS2 physics, six, at least six. At least six death wrecks in a day. That's too many. No, no person can deal with that. What, what the irony is they don't realise that I'm going to die from a deep vein thrombosis without anything, uh, anything else, NASCAR style. So, you know, it's, it's, there's nothing really... <laughs> you, you, wanna, you better believe it, Phantom Racer. It's one of the perks of uh, sim racing on YouTube. What you find is a lot of sim racers are really well-adjusted people, which is surprising, really, because you'd, you'd expect 
for the type of people that get into driving simulators to be somewhat narrow-minded and overly hyper-focused on something that's completely pointless. But no, actually, most sim racers are very rounded people uh, with a very dynamic and f fulfilling lives. And they're not the type of people that just hang around on forums 24-7. Oh, no big fat. That, that, that. Your name is very rude. <laughs> How does that name get through the YouTube filter? <laughs> how does that get through the YouTube filter? I like how YouTube filters like the, the slightest swear word. <laughs> but your name is just like... <laughs> oh, jeez. Well done, YouTube. B, B, F, what, well, hang on, we need to shorten your name into something polite. B, F, F, R, that'll do. <laughs> Stupid. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh well. It's just funny. It's not, it's not very PG, is it? And as, uh, you know, this is a very PG environment. I never make uh, jokes at all. <laughs> what does it mean in German? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Every corner is a uh, potential death in this. Look at the size of those wheels. Absolute beaut. I like how you can see the rear axle spinning in this car. <laughs> Buffer, because he's a bit slow. I, that's, I'd take that nickname. Uh, no, I've still got the triples here. I'm, use, I'm just using the central, the, the middle screen uh, on on the triple setup because I, I just, uh, it's, it, I think it was making me motion sick, but also it's just a bit of a pain with all the games, so just using the one screen. I mean, it's a 55-inch it's a, a OLED, so it's fine. I just don't, I don't feel like I really need the side view, to be honest. <laughs> like... I have tried the the Vario the expensive Vario headset. The field of view is a bit narrow on the Vario headset. It's like they, it's a nice crisp image. So if you play flight sims or you're doing industrial vis and stuff, then uh, I get that. But I, I I prefer if I'm going to play in VR, I want a VR experience. So I, I like the wide field of view. So the Valve Index is sort of the overall winner for me. Quality, field of view, comfort. Still, it's still been the best headset I've used. It could do with a slightly higher resolution screen, but... Uh, I think the Vario is like 90, but it's, it's very hard to get it to run well. But um, the one thing I'm looking forward to is Valve's next VR headset, uh, which I think they'll probably announce next year. And then uh, just some of the headsets coming out, which have pancake lenses. So that's... Uh, 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 a headset with the same field of view as a Valve headset, but but uses a pancake lens rather than Fresnel lenses, um, means it doesn't have uh, pupil swim, barrel distortion, or or ghosting uh, from the, on the lens, which is uh, a, that's the worst thing with the Valve Index is the sweet spot, and the pancake lenses have a very large sweet spot. Uh, oh yeah, the Pimax 8K might and 12K might actually be quite good, but I've not tried them. May, hopefully, there's one at Sim Racing Expo. The stream's running at a lower quality. What's what's the quality? <laughs> Whoops. What quality is the stream at? Should be like 1080p. It might be struggling to encode it. Maybe you need to click on it and uh, refresh it. Bloody hell. But right, we're in fifth place, I'll take it. It's a bit of an effort to drive this car. Uh, it'll, it'll just be because of the uh, lighting and all the stuff going on. 
don't think I can change the uh, graphics in the game session. So we'll, have, we'll just do this race and then we'll change some graphic settings afterwards. Yeah, I don't know. Weird gnome thing in the corner. Bit weird bold guy. I don't know what he's doing. I always, I, yeah, I don't know how to get rid of that thing in the corner. We need to, we need to replace this thing in the corner with like a really hot model, like a like a really hot woman. That'd be so much. This channel would be so much better if this here was like a gorgeous woman. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a really good channel? That'd be amazing. Uh, you you would have despair, misery, uh, spontaneous humour that only three people understand. And you would have someone that was incredibly attractive. It, it would be perfect. Uh, alas, can't have everything. We had DD Gill. Oh, it's Emil Birdstoff. Emil. Emil. Emil Birdstoff. <laughs> oh, maybe that was a little bit too loud. <laughs> that literally broke my headphones. <laughs> Um, Emil, guys, go and subscribe to Emil on uh, Twitch. If you haven't, Emil is a curtain master. Can that be your subscriber alert? <laughs> Emil burst off. <laughs> Every time someone subscribes. <laughs> the whole camera shaking. Oh, here we go. Absolute burn stuffed. Seven laps of fuel. Brake buys to the rear of touch. We're ready to die. Do you guys who in chat knows Emil? Type type uh type no if you know like with a K if you know Emil. Type Type um didn't if you didn't know him that's the test that's how we know that's how we get the market data there i think we actually might have just killed all our viewers with that with that with that uh audio <laughs> oh well it was worth it i'll sacrifice 30 viewers oh no no you know you don't know yourself Familiar with a meal. Ah, oh, look at all these people. They know you. Guys, he's, he's well famous. What a legend. Absolute legend, guys. Right, you ready for a race here? I am. Hello, Speed Force Sim Racer. Yeah, it's alright. Nice vintage stuff. Light it up, and away we go. Ah, uh, Y list. That's where it's at. Why is there a list? <laughs> Coming through. <laughs> oh, I'm using my brake. I'm being cautious. Oh, there's the edge of the track, and here we go. Bonk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Textbook driving through that. That's how you take that corner. <laughs> That's how it's done, pretty much. Whoa. <laughs> Look at the board. Oh, he's coming back onto the track. <laughs> the brake board went flying there. This isn't porpoising, this is blue whaling. Well, we already gained some places with completely clean driving. Ah, uh, Scooby G's gone wide. Bring it on to fourth place. 
Oh, thanks for subscribing, Aaron Sparrow. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate the sub. Hello, Alex. Oh, it's Alex Casca too. This guy's uh, 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 he owns a uh, prototype race vehicle in real life. How's it going, man? I said his name wrong. You should check out his channel. Check out Alex's channel, guys. He's got. He should have footage of his own race car on there. If you if you're into like prototypes and stuff. Do you still have the? Are you still doing the real racing? With the same car. They added. They, they put the car in a Seto Corsa. If you want to try and drive it, his actual car. <laughs> oh, you moved up a bit. What you do? Don't tell me you've gone into bloody GT3 like everyone everyone else. Those copy prototype. Ah, oh, man. Ah. Uh, when are you are you doing any races in the UK? If you ever at Brands Hatch, you should say. So I'll come along. I'll come along and I'll uh, nick your car. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm like a. I got a weird thing for prototypes, radicals, and that sort of thing. LMP2, Radical, anything. Anything that's prototypey. To me, that's like peak. Peak race car. Mazda 787B, you know, all that kind of stuff. Awesome. I think you should take your prototype to uh, Brands Hatch. I think it's the perfect circuit for it. It's only a little bit bumpy. You should uh, do Brands Hatch, then Alton Park. <laughs> Just for the lols. Could be the first person to do a backflip in your car. I don't know what the fastest car I've ever seen going around Brands Hatch was. I mean, they've had I've seen vintage Formula One cars and nine up to nineties F one cars. I mean, if you lost it through the right-handers at Brands Hatch, there's it's just trees. <laughs> and they're pretty fast corners. Woo! Nice and easy, this. These trees are nice. Nice, uh... Italy... This racetrack's like weirdly in the town centre. Little, there's a little river off to the right here, and then there's literally the town. It's surprisingly central. Oh, you could do. Um, have you raced at Dono, Alex? Donington. You could, uh, that would be all right with a, like a fast car. It's a very smooth track surface and obviously Silverstone. Come on. <laughs> I won't be to Blyton Park. That's the only track I've driven on. <laughs> See, that's actually the only track I've actually driven a car on. No, I've driven an aerial atom at some other rando place as well. But I mean, Blyton Park's a very sophisticated and highly technical bit of tarmac. <laughs> I had a bird drop a stone on the car. I was going around a corner and uh, uh, I don't know, I think it was like a, a hawk or something. Uh, it wasn't it, it wasn't a stone, it was like a snail or something. It dropped it. It's in the GoPro footage. I should have ed I should edit it out actually. You can see the bird fly off and then you see something hit the windscreen. It was really weird. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Did 
Dirty Dumper. <laughs> Literal Angry Birds. Ah, oh, where do we get? Fifth place. Bloody hell. I sucked at that. I think we I think we might try like a modern track with this car. That was alright though. I think this car drives a lot better than the previous one. The track's really nice. Great racing by everyone. Apart from me at the start. Look at these really nice car models. <laughs> Can't get them too sad. Ow! Jeez! Thanks for that, guys. Yeah, I don't know why they don't instant snap. It's like they want to make people as motion sick as possible. <laughs> uh, right, there we go. Daniel Nito with the win there. Raw McRipham with second. Matty Cobby third. ASBNK fourth. For selfie fifth. Scooby G sixth. Sven Blow in seventh. Kagi San eighth. Ham Doggity Ding Dong in ninth. And Dog the Killer in tenth. I need to change some settings here. Uh, Aaron Sparrow, enjoy watching the content. Fairly new to sim racing. Well, you need to leave right away. It's bad for your health. Played Forza when I was younger. Well, you should have just stayed on Forza. It's, it's much better than driving sims. Just, just got my first rig set up. Sorry to hear that. And the PC a couple of weeks ago. Sorry, a waste of money. PC game is dead. <laughs> any any tips on getting started? Ah, oh, just throw it in the dustbin. Take it to uh, cash converters or something. Get rid of it. Save yourself the time and the effort. Just throw it all away. Uh, don't leave. leave. Like before you know it, you'll be buying like a forty ninety. Before you know it, you'll be a YouTuber wondering where your life's gone. <laughs> but I just burn your house down at this point. But uh, I mean, if you if you're committed to ruining your life, the sims you need to get the original Assetto Corsa. Is like the best all-round sim in my opinion, and I think it's the most realistic all-round sim. Feel everything if you consider everything uh, for dry conditions and what have you, spot on. But it's worth owning a set of Corsa. It's worth owning ACC, super cheap. I think the force feedback is boring, but it drives okay-ish. It's GT3, it's popular, so you can get races. And then Low Fuel Motorsport has ranked races for that. It's free to sign up to. So. Um, then uh, I'd recommend getting AMS2 when it's on sale. Super cheap. It's fun to play. I can't talk about the physics because of the death threats. <laughs> um, race room. Uh, really worth owning if you're in Europe and you want to do ranked racing online on their servers. There's a bunch of fun content on there. The AI is quite fun to race against. Um, Richard Burns Rally is a rally game you can get totally for free. It's really old. It can be a little bit of a pain to set up, but it's got some of the best rally tracks and rally content that you can, you can play, so it's worth getting Richard Burns Rally. Um, Dirt Rally 2, definitely worth it. You can get that for like five quid. Really good fun. WR, uh, WRC Generations, uh, that's worth owning. Just came out uh, like two weeks ago. Really great fun. Um, <laughs> F1 2002 was quite good. I, I need to change settings, guys. I'll remake the server here. Yeah, R Factor 2, I wouldn't recommend for someone starting out um, because it's, it's just a bit finicky. Um, low fuel motorsports simplifying it. To be honest, if you, if you did low fuel motorsport with ACC, got used to it. And then maybe thought about R Factor 2. But R Factor 2 is a bit weird. It's getting better, but it's a bit weird. Uh, Alex, you spent the best part of 45 minutes today setting up R Factor 2 with pro help. Oh, don't worry. After you've got it working, Rift to Vertex. Oh, I need to talk about that. Uh, once you've got R Factor 2 working, don't worry. It's going to uh, it's gonna break after you've set it all up. Something will happen. <laughs> uh, the Radical SR3 in R Factor 2 is really nicely done. Uh, right, options, graphics. Let's put this in full screen mode and see if this breaks everything, which it probably will do. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing, M. Richard. Appreciate it. Welcome. Where's the grass detail? I need to turn that up. Oh, here we go. 
Right, what else did I need to change? I was changing the graphics. This can be on 16x. I don't know why that's on that. Oh, I've got to restart the game. Yeah, the, I, I find R Factor 2 makes me motion sick as well due to the camera shake. I I've, I spent, I messaged the developer. They said they'll look into it, but I don't know if they will change anything. It needs a better lock to horizon setting for people like me. Speed 4 Sim Racer, have you tried R Factor Pro? Uh, no, but I know. So R Factor Pro isn't a single simulator. R Factor Pro is just it's, it's G Motor 1 or the G Motor 1 framework that you know with R Factor 1. And then, yeah, as you say, race teams then uh, use it in different ways. So some race teams will have used R Factor 1 and it, R Factor Pro, but it, would, it was literally R Factor 1. <laughs> and they just put a mod car in it. Um, like some back in the day, some Formula One teams literally that's what they did, um, and then other people just used it as an initial software framework. So like like how a developer might use Unreal Engine for an FPS, you know, Hell Let Loose is different from ACC. They both use Unreal Engine. So uh, uh, some might do, but it's not. R Factor Pro isn't a sim single simulator. It's, it's just a framework. So it doesn't really mean anything. There isn't one R Factor Pro, if that makes sense. But you can you can use um, R Factor One AC, R Factor Two. Um, you can use any of these sims as more than good enough for training real. You can use iRacing to train for real life driving. If you want to learn where brake points are, the racing line, the things that cost the most amount of money to initially learn with the track, that pretty much every sim is good enough for that. So uh, they're not. It's not even necessary about it being uber realistic. That's just a bonus. <laughs> the, the and also the way that R Factor Pro and stuff typically used is they'll the a team will be like a team will want um, to be able to put different configurations set up configurations on a car and then have a, a a a better idea of what likely setup will work on the real car. So when they turn up at the track. They don't have to do as much tweaking or they might be able to uh, work out like the uh, ECU mapping and stuff, gear ratio, like loads of things. You can cut the time down for when you would turn up at a track and then need to massively set up the car. So those components are kind of separate to how spot on the tire model is, you know. Um, so there's, there's a lot of aspects to simulation in pro use that are separate to what you tend to be using sims for at home uh right i'm gonna make a new multiplayer race here i want to do a silverstone uh, apparently they've lowered the grip or they've got low grip versions uh of the group c car so i'll give them a go uh see what they're like <clears throat> let's do it a silverstone the stone that is sometimes silver, there it is. Um, you guys should be able to join the track, I think, even if you don't own it. I think they're low downfalls, but I don't know. It just said that in the release notes. You need Monza for Group C. I do Group C wherever I want, mate. <laughs> Well, yeah, a lot of people, uh, I don't know, it's... Yeah, right. Uh... Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, I just want to drive it on a, on a new track. Could do this uh, G GT1 cars, actually. Was that one of the cars that had an update to them? Let's give this a bash and see what it's like now, see if it's changed at all. I don't think the cars have, but maybe something else has changed. Be an interesting comparison. Here we go. Edit qualifying settings. Okay. Oh, grab guy. Sorry, I need to change the. Uh, that was what it was. It was visual and FX, wasn't it?
Here we go. There we go. What's my opinion on alien setups? Do they make you quicker? They don't make me quicker because I'm shit. <laughs> You, you can get within like two seconds of pace with a garbage setup, but it might be harder. Um, but then like a, an alien setup <coughs> might be too hard for certain people to, to drive. But like a, a better setup will generally, you know, it, it's going to be faster. That's the whole point of a better setup. But most, most, as it applies to most... Oh, thanks for subscribing, Mr. Blub, Blubby59. For most people, the vast majority of people... If they are over two seconds off pace, setup's not their issue generally. It's, it's going to be fundamental driving. Uh, assuming the default, like, assuming the setups have the right gear. Like, There's a difference between a complete garbage setup, which will make it really hard for anyone to, uh, to, to drive and will slow everyone down. There's a difference between that and then there's then there's like a, a neutral balanced setup that's got the right gear ratio and general right downforce and stuff. If you've got a generally bog standard neutral setup, you should be able to get within a, a, a second and a half of pace for, and be able to do that lap over and over and over again with no real effort. Vast majority of sim racers are not at that skill level at all. Um, some sims are more sensitive to setup than others though. So like iRacing is really really setup dependent because i think you can't really balance the cars properly at the limit so that means that all the driving is under the limit which then means that the, the setup is like just super super important for, it, for, for all cases <laughs> uh i you know what i mean two seconds off like a normal silverstone spa whatever um there we go create a new one type joining if you're going to join guys if you want to join, make sure you subscribe. Also, click that like button if you haven't. All right. Um, well, it depends what you're doing, Ramagir, doesn't it? As, there's, there's, that's, that's the other component of setups. You might have a setup for a sprint race or a, just a general neutral setup for jumping and drive racing. But then if you're doing like a 60 plus minute race, then, then there's a strategy component to a car setup. So that's a whole other different thing again. Uh, to sprint racing Mo most sim racers again there's only like the top five percent of sim racers if that top two percent of sim racers that can actually do a 20 minute race with e with every single lap being within a second and being consistent vast majority of sim racers can't do a 20 minute race <laughs> like without crashing so it depends when you talk about these things it entirely depends who you're talking about and which groups of people Oh no! Hang on. Did the servers just go down here? I'm going to restart the game anyway. Hello, Junior. The uh, the servers just went down. Yeah, the servers just went down. Oh, Steam's got is Steam up? I thought Thursday was Steam update day. Let's see. F. <laughs> oh well, these things happen. Uh, Paul Williams, game, have you been on Artifact 2 and BTCC? I have, briefly, but not properly. I will probably give it a proper gun low fuel motorsport, but I, I, Artifact 2 makes me motion sick, so due to its camera shake, so I can't really play it at the moment. I mean, this this doesn't, this doesn't makes me a bit motion sick as well, but well, it's all right. Is the is Steam servers back up? Let's see. Is it, uh, Lied De Jeb, is it worth upgrading from a CSW 2.5 8 newton meter to a DD 8 newton meter? Uh, no, no, it's not. No, I, I would, um, 
I would keep your CSW and just run it into the ground. Um, it's a perfectly fine wheel. The force feedback's fine on it. There's no, there's literally no point upgrading to that wheel. If you wanted to upgrade from the CSW, then I would, I would either go for a DD2, um, or I would uh, go for like a Simi Cube Sport or something, or like an, you know, like an OSW or something. But you don't need to. You, you, you're fine with what you've got. If it's working, just keep using it. You, you're not gonna, especially between the DD Pro or CSL DD, like. Yeah, you're fine. the uh, club sport wheel's fine. Uh, I've not used the Mose R9 for it for enough time to have an opinion on it. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> well, quite, do you think we can create... Oh, here we go. Let's come back. Yeah, I like Colton Park. It's uh, one of my favourite tracks. There we go. I need a cup of tea here. Password is tea. There we go. Yeah, the, the biggest difference between a CSL and a, and a DD Pro is more that it, the DD Pros is smoother, especially if you have it on lighter force feedback or it picks up the, the finer details more. But the, in terms of like general strong load details, it's, you know, I think the rotational speed is slight, is a little bit better. So if you do drifting and have like large rotation, the CSL, uh, the DD Pro and the CSL DD is a bit better. But you definitely notice quite a big difference over a um, CSL, got a club sport wheel 2.5 and a um, uh, a DD2 or a Simu Cube or an OSW. Uh, maybe gluten. I am doing more YouTube videos now. I, I had a big break from doing uh, review videos and things, but... Well, I thought I thought I'd do a lot of Twitch streaming. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, I did like eight months of iRacing, racing, and I feel like it was a complete waste of time. But <laughs> I mean, you know, these things happen, right? Let's start this off and see what happens. We'll never get that time back. <laughs> oh, we we had some good times. We got shouted at by people. Got some good sound clips. So it was, it was worth it for that. Right, let's see what happens here. Best cheap upgrade from a G29. Um, T3, the Thrustmaster T300 is the cheapest next wheel along from a G29. Uh, but if you if you want to, if you know you're, you're getting into sim racing, like, you know, you're fully getting into sim racing, like, you, you know, you spend a lot of time doing it, then, um, like, a CSL, a CSL DD is... Um, a big, uh, a massive up, uh, upgrade from a G29. But it's, it's quite a bit more expensive. T300 is the next upgrade from a G29, cost-wise. Uh, I, I got to 4K I rating, didn't I? I think, uh, uh, in the F4 car. <laughs> right, let's see what this is like. Edit setup. This game looks really nice in 4K. Oh, careful on the throttle. a bit weird. It's 
nice having the uh, wheel in the middle of the car. Harry Lynch. Got any suggestions for a cheap rig? Upgrade from a kitchen chair. Well, any, t any. If you're going to buy a sim rig, I would say it's worth buying a T-slot sim rig. If, like just rather than going through different rigs and cheapo rigs, it's better to just not have a rig, save up, and buy a T-slot sim rig. Because once you've got a T-slot sim rig, you don't need any other rig ever again. And they're pretty much, they're all really good to be honest. And you can add to them and you can change it and you can adjust it. So just find uh, any good T-slot sim rig and you're, you're golden really. Uh, I personally, I'm using the SimLab P1X here, and I do SimLab cockpits are amazing, um, so I highly recommend them. I do have an affiliate link <laughs> for SimLab. I don't know where it is, but I do have an affiliate link. But there's uh, there's probably loads of um, yeah, just about any T-slot cockpits good. The thing to look out for on teapot 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 cockpits, the thing to look out for on T-slot cockpits is how the pedals. Are mounted to it and the pedal tray because some of them have like crappy pedal trays but other than that you it's hard for a company to mess up a t-slot cockpit magnus i don't talk about the physics and the realism uh because i get i, I don't want any more death threats so we're keeping the death threats down by not talking about it in the live stream yeah motor discs are one of the biggest uh, eu they're a german company that um supplies a lot of the uh, aluminium or aluminium profile um, and you can buy pre-measured slots from them and designs and things yes yeah, so, well so there you go Sim simlab might be a good option the simlab as a company are really good for customer support and uh you know Uh, they they sent me this rig, so you can't trust anything I say. Shill 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 warning. <laughs> but I, I, the guy that runs uh, SimLab is re a really nice guy as well. Not that that makes a difference if you're buying a product, but Sim Racing Expos on December the first to December the fifth in uh, Germany uh, at Nuremberg. Um. So if you can go to that, that's a fantastic way to try a lot of different sim rigs and uh, equipment. And uh, all the dirty YouTubers are there as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's good if you can get, if you can get stuff locally, it's always... That helps. If you want to join the server, guys, password is T, search for Gamer Muscle. I'm currently in pole position, so you, you need to join to embarrass me. Flying. Oh, let's get another PB. E E O 
909. Hello. Not too long ago, Micro Center only had G920. Is that American Micro Center? Are you, are you guys talking about American stuff here? <laughs> I don't. I don't know these shops. We don't have Micro Center in the UK. We had, we used to have Maplins, but they went out of business. Okay, we'll try the rental carts after this race. Does someone bang you with a hammer so you can be suitably bruised? So you get the realistic rental cart experience? Oh, I'm in second place. Vess has pwned us. Oh, that's not the brain point. Sorry. <laughs> that's like a follow through corner. Just killed him. Oh, that's not my fault. It's not where you break. <laughs> oh, dear. And uh, dead. And this is messed up. It's on zero. Oh no, hang on, it's different in this, isn't it? Let's see. They might have changed it. lost the hood ornament <laughs> oh no that's the problem with owning one of these cars is you can accidentally embed the hood ornament in the person you're running over and then and then if you drive away from the scene of the accident they know that it was you now head movement on a hundred yeah head movement on a hundred is the world stays stable and the car wobbles uh it's half past 11 yeah i, I but i wanted to cover the update to this Why not? <laughs> Been pwned today. I uh, got up at like 11 a.m. And then uh, we did like four hours of Twitch getting a uh, race room set up with the new truck car. Then I did... Uh, th then it took me like three hours to get <laughs> to do a video on the race room truck. And now uh, we've been doing a few hours of uh, YouTube here. Not bad. Uh, San Moran guitar. I don't know if you like if you like AMS two, then uh, it's AMS two. You've been uh, building your flight deck for your race simulator. Nice. I just I'm happy with my joystick off to the side. <laughs> I'm, it, the thing is, if you've got a flight yoke, um, a yoke is it is nice having a joystick in the middle. And a yoke definitely makes you... It's a lot easier to be super precise flying with a, a yoke than a joystick. But convenience-wise, having the joystick off to the side, I think is the best place in the sim rig. I've got to put this... Um, I, I didn't get around to this today. I've got a 2.5 gigabit PCIe uh, network adapter card <laughs> that I need to put in my computer. You notice this camera is stuttering. I think it's because the onboard... Um, the onboard uh, network has an issue with NDI, so hopefully that fixes that. <laughs> so we didn't get around to that today. It's never-ending computer breaking. I think I found out that a lot of my stutter issues are from this AccuForce wheel for some reason. The AccuForce software causing stutter. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, that's that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I think I'll probably put the Fanatec wheel back on the rig. I do prefer the Fanatec wheel to the Acuforce, generally speaking. Got more wheel rims as well. 
Here we go. Raw McRip Helmet pounding it to first. Vesa second. We're in third. Bobby Dazzler fourth. Dan Daniel Nito. Nito in fifth. I think it's Nito as I say his name. I always get it wrong. Just a sprint race here. Norge. Norge hype. Right, we're just we're just going for it. It's all good. I need a cup of tea, guys. Absolutely gagging for a cup of tea. Yeah. Uh, move nice. Uh, I the um, my Windows drive is an N NVMe drive, and the other hard drive they they're both SSDs on this system. Like what? One of them? I think I don't know if I have got two NVMe drives. One of them might be NVMe and the other one's a larger one, but it's, it's, all, it's all on the fast drive. Well, Apex, I see you've been, you're banned. <laughs> no, it's all right. I like promoting other YouTube channels, to be honest. I don't care. I, it's, it's really hard to uh, get views, so I don't, mind, I don't I really don't care. As long as people are like, you know, not spamming. Um, I like, I like uh, other people finding other channels. If I won the lottery, would I still YouTube? Yeah, I, I do YouTube because it's what I want to do. I, I'm kind of, I'm a bit like that in life. Like, I just do what I want to do. I've always done that. Uh, I've been lucky to be able to do that. <laughs> but, like, I, I I was sacrifice income to do what I want to be doing, to be honest. Like, I could be doing other stuff and making a lot more money than I make doing this. Um, But... I'd, I'd rather not. I'd rather make less money and do what I want to be doing. I've, I've always been like that. <laughs> also, I, I'd be really happy living. Uh, I, I, like, um, I'm really happy just walking in fields and stuff. I don't. I don't. Re I don't actually need anything. So, um, you know. I think that the most valuable thing in life is time and being able to do with your time what you want to do with it. Oh, it's not humble, it's, it's been it's stubborn. <laughs> it's sort of like a... It's just a s stubborn and... Just enjoying simple things. Like I've always enjoyed simple stuff. I think my family's always been... Uh, not like My parents are very sort of... Uh, into simple stuff. <laughs> Ranting about force feedback. I do really like haptics and force feedback, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'd be I'd be happy just uh, like you need you need uh, food and uh, house and stuff or place to live. But like when it, uh, when I was trying to make my first business work uh, before I did YouTube stuff, um, I just I lived in a spare bedroom with other people, like paying. It was like two. It was like two hundred pounds a month to live. In, in and I slept on the floor just to keep costs down, so I could uh, experiment with different business ideas and things. So I, you know, I, I, some people wouldn't put up with that. You know, they'd, they'd want to live in a nicer flat or something, which is fine. But you just have to decide what you want, don't you? You got sacked from your last job. Now I've only ever really worked for myself uh, out of university. I set up a games company with uh, five other people, um, and then that didn't really... It, it, it was good for what it was, but it didn't really work out. Then uh, I set up another games company doing uh, online games, uh, web games, and, and um, then I started doing that sort of transition, that into doing... Uh, woo! <laughs> nice drift show. Uh, transition that into doing... Um, uh, producing music and uh, doing game design and graphic design um, for various companies. Oh, carnage up front! And then, uh, then, then I started just making YouTube videos on driving sims and flight sims and VR because I was enjoying it. Uh, and uh, actually, one of the big reasons why I started doing the YouTube stuff is because I was really crap at talking into a camera. I'm really crap at talking. And so I, I started doing YouTube in part to get better at talking to a camera um, and not not being camera shy or whatever, just, you know, not being bothered by cameras. Because I used to be really, really bothered by cameras 
like you know just get really weird anxiety of oh it's filming me you know <laughs> whereas I don't give a shit now so it worked so yeah <laughs> I think do it. I think it's good. It's always good. I think to try and do, be kind of decisive with. If you want to do something, do do what you feel like you want to do. Um, and it's easy to say. If I, I'm from a, like a middle, middle class background, and you know, it's a lot harder if you're from a, a poorer background or you don't you don't live in a nice area, and or maybe maybe you've, um, you know, if you you might have a disability or be looking after someone or look you know it, it's, it's very easy to say things from certain backgrounds but um dad, dad's got five jobs yeah but basically i decided when i was like 15 i think i decided like um a lot of people the school i went to a lot of people would do a levels at that school and just go through that a level thing and then go to university and at like 15 i decided i was like uh i was like well no i like computers and um you know i was, I was thinking of doing actually been um doing networking computer networking and stuff i actually had a job as an it technician for a bit um but then i was like i was like yeah so i'm not i'm not going to do a levels i'll do a b tech national and that was just me deciding to do what I, what I kind of just pursuing what I wanted to do. And l quite a few people uh, that might that were at the school with me were like, "Oh, that's stupid! You can't go. You, if you do B Tech Nationals, a college degree, uh, you won't be able to get to university." And it's you know, and I was like, "Well, I don't care. I'm just going to do it because it's," <laughs> and it worked out all right. So there you go. If you're younger and you're trying to, you, you need to try and pursue. If you've got an interest in something. I think you need to, like, you got to try and go for it as much as you can. That's my advice. Work out how to actually, try and work out a way to go for what, what the easiest way to get to where you want to go is. <laughs> That's stupid. Well, BTEC's way easier to pass an A-levels, and it was genius because, um, uh, B Tech Nationals. I already had loads of skills with computers because, uh, so again, this has been very fortunately middle class. I had a computer in my house growing up. Not everybody has that. So basically, I'd already been pissing around with like Windows computers and setting up networks and, you know, half of the B Tech National course I already knew. So <laughs> that made it a lot easier. That's a good tip, actually. Don't dismiss things that you can already do. As like, I think a lot I do that, and a lot of people do that where they don't value things that they can already do. So it's like, what well, if you're going to go to do a qualification in something? Why necessarily get? A, why force it so that you have to learn something that you haven't already taught yourself? If you have a skill set. That you've already developed yourself and the reason you've developed it is because you're genuinely passionate about it well why not get that qualification in that i mean it just because something's easy to you doesn't mean it's not still very valuable yeah well that's it i, I probably would have done bad at a levels to be honest the, the good thing with BTEX uh, um, and NVQs and stuff is that you uh, there's a lot of coursework. Front left, <laughs> front left, fine. It's all good. Oh, interesting lines through here. We're absolutely flying. We're holding on to third place here. I can't catch up with Vessa and Robert Rip Helmet. They're too good. Oh, where, why, where, why are you not at home, uh, Dave, Mr. Davis?
Oh, come on. I quite like Silverstone. It, a lot of people like don't like it, but I like the I like how it flows. What does it come with if you already have the season pass? Um, I think it's some. I think the updates to the uh, vintage tracks are the main thing in this update. Um, I don't know if there's any new cars. I think it's mostly just a polish update. Otherwise, oh, and the whatever was in racing USA part three. Oh yeah, we need to do the rental carts after this. I forgot. <laughs> oh, it's a free new free group C car. That's good. Getting, we'll do some rental car driving next. This car seems pretty much the same as it was before. Ah, oh, we get we'll get a third out of that. That's all right. I take it. <laughs> well done, guys in front of us. Oh, oh, that's some flat spots there. All right, Apex. Have a good one, man. Oh, nice drift. It's a nice uh, green colour this, this car has. Nice driving, guys. NG, what's controller usage like in this? Um, I think it works all right with a controller. You'll find with like driving games like this that they're quite tricky and you might have to set the cars up in a certain way and, and fiddle with stuff to get it to work. Uh, oh, there we go. Flippy dip dip. But, um... Yeah. Oh, Tall Maniac, hello. And thanks for Mr. Strand Ninja 007 James Bond for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. A reminder, if you want to be notified when we go live and our videos, which are most days now, click subscribe and uh, give the like button a tickle tackle. We're on 146... Four, we're on 148 likes and there's 212 viewers, so really we should have like 212 likes if I do the math. If I do the math on this... Should really have like 500 likes. <laughs> well done to Raw McRick Palmet for, for winning. Vessa second, myself third, Bobby Dazzler fourth, Daniel Naito fifth. It's the same as qualifying. Chomp sixth, Dagging Killer seventh, Hamdog eighth, Kagi San ninth, Ibsan 907 in tenth, and Matty Cowboy in eleventh. Taco Boy, Matty Taco. And I'm hungry. Now I want a taco. Let's ban this taco, man. How often am I on Twitch? I'm on Twitch most days as well. I don't have a life. <laughs> I was on Twitch for four hours today, did a YouTube video, and now I've been live streaming for a few hours. But, you know. Mojo Montego. New to your channel. Thanks for your video. I'm now spending money on Base Shaker. Oh, what, the uh, £150 motion rig? Great. That's a good setup, that, to be honest. I'm not sure. You, you might be better off buying a better sound uh, card than the knob sound mini. But, I mean, my knob sound mini's still working. I just... Some people say they don't work after a while, but my, mine's still working, but... Yeah, we're going to do a go-kart. Oh, hang on. We're going to do go-karts here. Um, supposedly, they've been improved. What's a 125cc, a slow go-kart? We need a go-kart track. I get well dizzy from this, so... <laughs> Do we have a great cut? Here we go. Do they have the track inside of um, Spa? Also, Brands Hatch go kart track. I'd like that. We don't have it. We've got the Interlagos go kart track. Also, uh, PFI, Buckmore Park. They're good go kart tracks. That's what we need. Like simple go kart tracks, I prefer. This looks good. Interlagos kart. <laughs> Is this like a it's like a back to front copy of the real Interlagos? Cart two. Uh Tall Maniac. 
got a decent outdoor track five min from mine called Hooton Park. I don't, I've not seen that. I think PFI is probably the nicest go kart track. That's that's the one with the um, bridge and the under bit, right? Is that PFI? What does the PFI stand for? Genja Vienna. What's that? Well, I want to really do like a f uh, a flat track. This, this no, this track's the absolutely mental one. <laughs> this track's the absolutely insane track. I'm not doing that. Let's do like a simple one. Let's do Interlagos Cart Three. Right, if you want to join the server, game of muscle password T. Paul Fletcher International, there you go. Private Finance Initiative. Uh, that's pretty much it, isn't it? The um, best go-kart track in the UK. I mean, Buckmore's are, Buck, Buckmore Park's a really nice track, but rental carts are too, don't have enough power to go up the hill. They're all right going down the hill. But, like, faster carts would be good at Buckmore. Yeah, I think PFI's got to be, like, the best best go-kart track in the UK, I think. Well, actually, no. No. Teesside Autodrome. That's clearly the best go-kart track in the UK, let's be honest. Foolish of me not to mention that. Teesside Autodrome's where it's really at. I'm not talking about the physics because I don't want any more death threats. Indoor karting. <laughs> I don't know what the track. Oh, okay, I'll look at the map. Oh, I need the brakes to be stronger. I need to rebind the brake here because it's uh Oh no. Oh, oh no, if you do that it deletes everything. <laughs> I just forgot about that. I forgot about that bug. Let's try this. There we go. Remember, <laughs> brake really sensitive. Oh, it's not the pit exit. Oh, wow, the, the brakes aren't very good on this. I guess it is a rental car. 
still. Where are we going? <laughs> I can't drive these! We've got music! Well, I can't... it won't lock up. Hang on. Why does it say ABS? Why is this not unauthentic? No, it's like some weird anti ABS thing or something. They're still doing ABS. What's that about? Oh, I've just killed someone. I don't know why ABS is coming on. I'm killing everyone. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you should only buy iRakes if you're prepared to spend like 300 pounds a year on it. It's just how that is. God, slow down, slow down. Taking a new line, new line. I can't drive it. Oh, hello. I can't drive this. Oh, why did the brake so bad? <laughs> someone's, someone's took the brakes off my go kart. Go to the garage. Maybe and a break on a hundred? No, no, you can't change it. Throttle only. <laughs> no, they're, they're real brakes. They're just like I don't know what's going on. No, it's not locking up Kitex. It's not it's not locking up at all. That's what I'm saying. Not that it is locking up. The brakes aren't working. I mean they're just very weak. We've uh, put bicycle brakes on it, it's fine. <laughs> oh thanks for I turned off ABS. It's it's like a weird it's, it's flashing ABS on the screen, but I've turned off ABS in the game settings, so I don't know why it's still doing that. But thanks for subscribing. I missed your name. Thank you very much. <laughs> I just 
just... <laughs> I'm like having to break so early to what I'm expect like... Oh dear. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, I missed your name. Sorry, I'm terrible at this. No, it's the brakes are not very strong on this. It just doesn't have particularly strong brakes, that's all. <laughs> I'm amazing at this. Fucking hell. Oh, I can't swear on YouTube. I didn't swear. I said... F f f <laughs> I didn't swear. Oh, dear. Oh, that's it. We quali <laughs> qualify complete. Woo! Yeah, for some reason these uh Hang on, here we go. Authentic. Ch change that to authentic. Yeah, maybe there's some like bug with the a ABS thing going on. I don't know why that's doing that. Up. Hello, Kaito Racing. Yeah, they, they like getting their updates up for the uh, before Black Friday. Here we go. Seven car go kart race. We're ready. Okay, okay. Have they fixed the. Oh, don't say it! Don't say it! No, I can't, I can't, I can't answer that. I can't answer that. I'm not, I can't talk about physics or the tyre model or the suspension because I can't, I, I, I get I no, no more death threat. If I meant, if I say anything, I'll get more death threats and I can only cope with like one a day. I get like eight death threats. If I say anything negative, it's just it's too many. So I can't say anything. I'm not saying anything about it. Go and drive. Go and drive it yourself and make your own mind up. If you're a huge AMS2 fan, you'll love it, and it'll be the best thing ever. Who knows what other people would think? <laughs> oh, that's better. That's fixed. There we go. We ha you have to set that setting to authentic and. Uh, there you go, brakes working now. Thought it was a bit the ABS thing was cutting the brake out. That's a lot that's a lot better. Brakes actually work now. I don't know why that setting had gone to that, because we had it on uh, we had all assists off from last time we played. There we go, it's actually slowing down now. We've upgraded our bicycle brakes. Well, apparently this live stream has been posted on the AMS2 forum, so that's that's like the beehive of... Uh, wow, well, there we go. See, that that's that's what you expect. If you break too hard in a go-kart, the back road takes like mental. Whoa! What, what are you doing? Mate, this is... This is just like real-world rental karting. <laughs> Brazil! Yeah, this is on the AMS2 forum, so... Uh, you know, that's the beehive of... Uh, the death threat beehive. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo! Drift entry. Oh my god.
good thing with go karts is you can you can use them as a good reference for what the tire model's like in a simulator because generally go karts magnify every aspect of the because it's just completely rigid and the tires are like super duper small if you have like uh, the handling that you have the go karts is it basically directly from the tire like the nature of it's all from the tires everything it's like the hardest thing to simulate well because it, it there's no like stuff on top if that makes sense so it's a really good test of a sim so you know if, if a sim drives really well with go-karts it doesn't mean that the cars are gonna be realistic to real life but it, it, at least it means the tire models generally acting like a tire model so, uh, formula cars as well are another good test like if a sim can do really well with a super rigid formula car then it likely can handle like a floaty road tire road car quite well because that's a lot easier that's a lot it's a, uh, it's a much easier thing to simulate somewhat convincingly like lower grip ah oh, race over and last <laughs> Oh, look at me go. I feel like a spoilt rich kid. Right, we need to do it. We'll try another track. We'll try another track there. Uh, AC go-karts are actually really quite nice. And you can you can get an idea what AC's tyres and stuff are like from its go-kart mods. And that's just a rando mod. Um, the best go-karts, actually, that I think I've driven in a sim are the, that, Pib is it Pibos? Kart, Kart Racer Pro or whatever it's called. They're probably the closest to like a real go kart that I've driven. Should we try like the really the really crappy rental car? <laughs> Let's try this at like a small track. Let's try this at here. No, that's full interlagos, that's not the right thing. I want a nice simple track. Wow, let's do this. I got that. 1.53 kilometers. What can I, this is mental. Do this one. Yeah, I, for me personally, I think the best go kart tracks are ones which uh, effectively try to be like a full size track but just scaled down. A rental car oval. There we go. End of the setup. Oh wow, you can you can increase and decrease the steering lock. Aaron Sparrow did karting at Three Sisters the other night in the rain. Slippy slicks. <laughs> you just get mental understeer with go-karts with the slicks in the wet. And then insta-rear rotation on the brakes. Oh, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, gotta be careful on the brake. Bend. Now these are these are actually uh, quite good. The back wants to keep sliding, but. Be 
the the uh yeah, it's the braking's a bit weird. I mean, go karts do break, do rotate when you lock up. There's, uh, there's no uh, real feel for it with this. Just have to be careful. Well, because they've only got the brakes are on the rear, and they have brakes on the front, so it's like having a hundred percent rear brake bias. Spinella. But in, in a real go kart, you can feel the G forces as soon as you brake, which gives you a massive reference for braking. I think the um, really good go karts are in uh, that R Factor 2. I mean, I would, I'm not saying they're so realistic, but they're they've, they're quite consistent. They've got the the tracks are particularly good in that R Factor Two Kart Pro thing. Like Buckmore in that is in in that R Factor Two thing is spot. I think it's laser scanned. All right, T Hammer. It's all right. Good fun racing. Thanks for joining us. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's all right. It's, it's an update. We're, I've had to keep saying we can't we can't talk about physics or tire models because I can't. We can't be dealing with the the death threats. <laughs> so, so no comment. No comment on that. Yeah, the multiplayer's done well in this, how you can, um, the way you can create an online session and just jump in with people, uh, it's a shame that that's not the default for all Sims, because it's so good. Like, uh, it's from, uh, Project Cars 2, Pro Project Cars 1. It's such a good feature. It's not even Project Cars 1, it was like, uh, it's, it's from the heritage of the Madness engine. Which is originally G motor, but then other stuff. And obviously, they, you know, the developers did a lot of uh, SMS did a lot of stuff to it. Yeah, you can also jump in with a friend and just add AI. That's a G motor thing. What's funny is rental carts like this are quite intense in real life, like uh, vibrations and stuff. Oh. Thought he's going to get into me there. Yeah, I need to try and get AC uh, content manager server stuff set up, but I, we normally have server gods for AC, but it'd be, it'd be cool for me to get it set up so we can... Uh, so I could do random stuff for that server god. The thing is, it, like Izzy and Chili Dog and uh, people that set up servers, they normally have like really good settings. And like good servers, which makes quite a difference with AC. Yeah, but you, you, you just need to have the ports open on your router and stuff with AC. It's, it's more that you just need to have... Um, everyone needs to have the same uh, version of the track and the uh, car.
Oh, Havner, are you a, are you an AMS2 fanboy or something? You, I can't remember. Do you, are you one of the people that hate me? <laughs> I can't remember now. There's a long list of people that hate me. I, I, I can't even keep track of them. It doesn't, it doesn't really bother me. But there's a, there's a long list of, uh, you know, but that's fine. I do, I do wonder why if you don't like someone or their content just while they watch, but I, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't, you know, life's too short to really care. There we go. Well, weirdly, right, some people have come up to me in real life when I've been at events. They're like, oh, uh, I argued with you on like, or whatever, like, as if as if they thought I actually had bitter fit like I I I I can't be I find it um I don't enjoy um like I'd find it an effort to dislike someone myself um so I just don't engage with it um but I don't it, you know I like if even if, if someone like in normal like online no one no like sim conversation or sim thing genuinely bothers me because it's it's sim racing you know it's, it doesn't really matter does it <laughs> it's, it's, it's just games so you know but in real life if someone like well so as an example like in previous business stuff where someone royally screwed me over or someone's like royally screwed over a friend uh i i just wouldn't engage with them at all i don't like hold a grudge against like what's the, it's, it's, it's your own effort to, to bother doing that you just the, the, you just blacklist someone <laughs> basically is the only productive thing because you're like well you know that if, if someone's truly uh, evil or, or difficult to you know a bad person the only pragmatic thing is to just never interact with them um, but outside of that I just can't be bothered to be angry at someone I can't be bothered to be angry it's too much effort <laughs> Thanks for subscribing, RCD Creations. But yeah, nice no, to say I've like had uh, been at some sim stuff, and uh, some people have come up to me as if like they expected that. I, well, I don't know. Like they think that I remember who they, I can't remember who I've had arguments with online. <laughs> like it, and also like no, you know, it's just weird. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't even remember. Uh, like, but like, like, uh, life's just way too short, isn't it, really? So. I, I, th I, I, I personally, I, if I'm disagreeing with people, it's out of enjoyment of disagreeing as well. If I'm bothering to have a conversation. There's nothing, there's no, like, malice behind it. You hate me for me not doing the review of the force, but I'll do that. Yeah, no, no I do. I will do that. <laughs> All right, nailed it. Not last. Well, worst case, we can uh, come seventh here, which is good. Which is good. Ah, <sighs> here we go. Here we go. This is like a this is like a wedding stag do at a go kart track. Seven of us at the track. <laughs> Raw McRip Helmet's played this game too much. He's played it far too much. We need to ban ban on this guy. Oh, we're ready. We're ready for this. One liter will do it. Hello, Mick, F Mickey Fish Sticks. We're all right. Yeah, we've been having fun today. You got two hundred hours. Jesus Christ! You will become a member of the channel again the day I do that review. Ah. Oh. Well, you know. 
I do the review and the company will have gone out of business. <laughs> Heat death of the universe will have occurred. <laughs> right, are you ready for this, guys? It's happening. I might turn the force feedback down a touch. Felt, felt like it might have been clipping a little bit. Uh, it's, it's okay. Uh, I think I spent like a thousand pound on the on the force back joystick. Well, I had to buy a Hotas Warthog to because it doesn't come with a joystick, so I had to buy a joystick for it as well. Uh, well, the for I think the force back joystick is good if you intend to do real flying or you like um, you you like. Um, it's not necessarily about the actual force feedback being as good as a uh, driving sims force feedback. Um, it's it's more like the, you, with the force feedback joystick, you just end up with like a much nicer joystick than a non force feedback joystick, just in terms of smoothness and input and range of mo movement and stuff. So for a flight sim, that that smoothness makes a bigger difference than it does for a driving sim. Um. But yeah, no, it's a shame there's not proper force. Like, uh, X-Pain 11 is the only real sim that has proper G-Force force feedback. DCS, you need to... Oh, no! Oh! Huge error. Why did that not... I thought I clicked ready. <laughs> oh, no! Well. That worked. Oh, thought I'd already click ready. Um, yeah, DCS. You need to. You have to use an Arduino to make it think that it's a direct X thing. But the force feedback in DCS, I don't think, is uh, the best anyway. Um, that went well. I'm correct. I'm making a new server. <laughs> Uh, let's do let's do I'm gonna make a new server quickly. Oh actually I doubt I might call it now because it's getting a bit late. <laughs> what an anticlimactic finish. Hopefully the server migrated. Fail. Epic fail. Right. Uh yeah, I need to get to bed because it's getting late. Sorry about that, guys. Total fail. Uh the, the racetrack uh, shut down. Meteorite hit the racetrack. <laughs> Uh, thanks, thanks everyone for watching and subscribing and clicking the like button. We, we didn't get to 200 likes. We got to 191. That's not good enough. I'm, I'm quitting YouTube now. Um, appreciate the support. Um, appreciate the donations. We had some really generous donations. Thank you very much. Um, as the AMS2 update, feedback on the AMS2 update for people that skipped to here, or those of you wondering that joined, have just joined, um, some new content. If you liked how AMS two was before, then you'll still you'll still enjoy it. Um, if you were someone that didn't like how the cars handled beforehand, you probably still won't like it. The new the vintage uh, track the the retro uh, spa looks really nice. Um, you know, it's the same same AMS too, but with some more content. So if you like it, you'll like it more. So you know, it's always going to keep getting better. But if you if you didn't like it before, I don't. It's still pretty much the same. Uh, I didn't say anything negative. I didn't. I didn't comment on the physics or anything. <laughs> uh, hundred ninety seven, hundred ninety six, hundred ninety eight. Oh man, don't say anything negative, or the likes will disappear. <laughs> Oh dear. Righty. Um two hundred. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you have fun on it, you have fun on it. I, that's the way I would treat AMS two, to be honest. Um you you, you, you know <laughs> just treat it like that. Thank you. Thank you for clicking the like button, guys. I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button if you haven't. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Have fun. Take care. <laughs> Off we go. Anticlimactic ending of the decade. Goodbye.